How you doing? My name is Rafael Ventura, and today we're going to be talking about editing H.265 or what can you do with that file. Alright, so there's a few things you're going to need. You're either need, going to need to either upgrade your computer, which will be the most costly thing, or, I mean, if, if you have these specs right here, you either upgrade your computer, your CPU or convert your 265. I'm gonna show you the difference about H265 and A264. Alright. This is my with this application I can I can actually see um H265 on my video on my computer. And this is because is a I got it from Canon. Um, this application I'm gonna leave the link below, so you can even watch your 265 videos on your PC or Mac. And I'm gonna show you the difference. Let me see. Okay, I'm gonna play both of the clips. Think 2020 10 18 this clip right here for you five eight zero two seven seven I'll try to play it I'll get this message it says can't play because this item file format is not supportive <clears throat> that's because it's a two six five now that's with the regular so I'll close this now. Now with um, Digital Photo Professional Four from Canyon, I actually can you see that video was for you. Right here, for you. Five eight zero two seven seven. You click on it. Video pops up. Right here we can see that is a H two six five. The video will play with no problem. Now we just try, and so you can see the difference. We're gonna try a different clip, a H264 clip. Let me see. I'm gonna go for the 20th right here. Now, you see that it play on the regular. Now I'm gonna go to <clears throat> that video was for you five a zero four zero nine. That was on the twentieth. Yeah, for you this right here. For you, 059. Here, the video pops up. A264. So, no, I'll play here too in the Canyon app. Now, I'm gonna show you how to convert your H265 file so you can play on YouTube and you'll be able to edit it on any editing software. Oh, and so you can see that I'm gonna try to have a file come over from now. I'm gonna try to bring the file to resolve when the transfer is over. This is a 265 file, all it's transferring is the 
audio sync. So what I need to do is convert this file so I could actually put it on resolve. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open on converter. I have video coder beta. <clears throat> now you first go here and change the settings. You gotta make sure that in container you put it to MP4. So you'll be able to put it on Resolve, Premiere, and be able to put on on YouTube. Size in. I want to change this to be 4K. Mass width and height. I don't need it for the AK because AK doesn't have a problem with. <clears throat> AK raw that will play nicely a265 that's what you convert in and make sure you change the frame rate so make sure you change the frame rate you want the video so make sure you have it just like this and then I already have it saved make sure you picked it I have it in cost custom sure is because I try in MKV will not work on we saw so you should yeah make sure it's MPV MP4 so once that's done close it you select the video for you five a zero two seven seven we'll open it Scanning, convert it. All right. So we just waiting for that to. Okay. Um, now that it's almost fully downloaded, it almost took about twenty minutes for a four minute clip so it takes time and you don't want to be standing that's only four minutes <laughs> which on YouTube you will not use that so right now it's done and this nation was so go to videos user so go to my videos so Go to my files, videos, and that file was right here. Oh, it just finished. So I can just click on it. There. No problem. Then, let's see. Now I'm going to try to bring it into Resolve. So. DaVinci Resolve. Remember earlier, all it did was the volume, the, the audio. That's not what I, I want the whole thing. So I'm gonna go here, go to video. All right, as you seen earlier was in plain on here and you have and all you saw was the audio. All right, now I did make this whole video on the two H H two six five files and on the highest four K and Canon log. Now you tell me how's it look um, down below. Whether you liked it, whether this video was helpful. And if you have any questions about the Canon R5 or anything, comment down below. I'll answer as fast as I could. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.